what's going on everybody this afro think tank okay we are doing the uh other phase of the borehole where the men in the back as you can see they are preparing the pvc pipes and all things to put down into the hole look I, I don't freaking know look don't ask me i can't sit here and talk plumbing i don't know about plumbing all right all i know is they're putting the thingamajigger down the hole with a bunch of other thingamajiggers and they're gonna use some whatchamacallits some doohickeys to do all that stuffamajugger okay that's about it <laughs> but uh yeah we are uh, we got the the pump waiting for the the water pump to get here and when they put that down there i'm gonna go grab the generator from my house and so we can test the pump once they finish doing all this stuff i got the concrete you see the right there just the sand and stuff gonna make the concrete to make the platform you know because before we do anything else we gotta secure the borehole put the pump in make sure so the water's clean when it comes out you know not drinking mud water and make sure that the, the surface is level and secure and all that so that's what we got going on today so got all this stuff here same stuff we use in the u.s you know listen don't listen there's no chinese people running shit in nigeria that's the, that's what i love about nigeria nigeria runs nigeria china may do a lot of business in other countries china may you know in africa but when it comes to nigeria black folks us we run nigeria yeah there are other foreign country, country countries doing business in nigeria just like any other major country just like in america they're all the foreign countries are doing business in america it's just the same thing in other countries so don't nobody come to my page talking about the chinese there ain't no chinese over here all right doing shit but the only business that they're allowed to do in Nigeria. Nigeria is all Nigeria's problems, right? Good, bad, or indifferent are black people problems caused by black folks, all right? And all the solutions will be by black folks. And that's just what it is, good, bad, or indifferent. So after this after this uh, part right here is done, then we will, what's the next step? Uh, I'm going to do the concrete, you know, to, I won't be here for that part, I don't think, I'm not sure. But they'll do the concrete portion and put the rubbers up top, water um, containers. And then we'll still still raise the money for the the solar panels that's going to be powerful enough to run the pump of the water out of here. And that'll be it. That'll be my first, first project. My first project where I ask people for money, right, to do some sort of pan-African initiative. And I take the money and do what I say I'm going to do with it. Just that simple. If you just do what you say you're going to do, there ain't going to be no problems. Unlike some other people that don't do what they say they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and I knew that with Umar Johnson and all his things coming out and all these other grifters, that's where 2015, 2025 have been the year of exposure for a lot of a lot of people. All the fakes are being, are being exposed, right? And I knew that was going to be a hostile environment for me to raise money to do anything. Because who, 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 who can you trust? Everybody talks a good game, but they don't do shit. Right. But I know me. I keep it real all the way. It's much to me it's much easier that way to keep it real. And so maybe I have another project. I like to do something small. You don't have to do anything big. You see these people trying to do these grandiose big things like uh, uh, Tariq Nasheed trying to some th three, three, four story world class museum. That's too big for one individual to do without a, a team, a conglomerate. Without um without serious investors and serious people within those institutions to do that, right? That's why he never did it. That's why he opened up a chicken shack and got a bunch of freedom fo photocopies off Google and, and put that shit in there and he throw comedy club shows. That's why it was a failure. That's why Umar Johnson talked about he want to open up a school. He want to start out with four goddamn schools instead of just maybe getting a smaller building and he's opening up one school with couple small classes. That's something he can manage as an individual. But he want to do everything himself. That's why I kept telling you. He's not a Pan-African because a Pan-African doesn't self-aggrandize himself. A Pan-African is somebody who's willing to work with other black people to get something done. That's it. If you can't work with other people, you can't get shit done because you can't do it by yourself. Right. You can't make yourself King Kong of consciousness, the Prince of Pan. It is no Prince of Pan-Africanism. And if there is a Prince of Pan-African, Pan-Africanism, Pan-Africanism is Ibrahim Traore. All right. A fellow warrior. 
That's the if anybody gonna if anybody gets the title of Prince of Pan Africanism is Ibrahim Traore of Bikini Faso. All right, that's the Prince of Pan Africanism. All right, but other than that, Pan Africanism is an ideology. It's mean you have to to unify. In order to unify, you can't have main character syndrome. You gotta just say, hey, I'm willing to do my part. If you're willing to do your part, and then we come together, and we do our part. As you can see. Um, the people that I that subscribe to me, they did their part. They donated the money they were able to donate to me. I did my part, and I went and hired black people to do black things. There's a Pakistan company. There's a company, a Pakistan company here doing. I could have hired them, but no, I'm, I made sure that the people that I hire, so that our money, black money, rotates amongst black people, right? And these black people are getting paid to do a job that they are professionals at. Right. You see how you see how that works. And then, so now that I built trust with my subscribers who I clearly trust. Right. If we decide to do another one of these or any other project that we talk about as Pan-Africans doing Pan-African things, then we can do this again on any of any type of capacity. Any I can literally I can do anything here under the power of Pan-Africanism, under the power of unity with my brothers and sisters who subscribe to me, who roll with me because I don't have fans I have brothers and sisters who subscribe to me. That's what I have. I have my subscribers contribute to the knowledge and to the building the same way I do when I make videos. If you look at my comment section, we be building in our comment section. Sometimes we got to talk shit to these dumbasses to infiltrate our, our, our building sessions, but we all teach each other. My subscribers teach me. <laughs> I'd be like, what? And I'll go look it up and then I'll, I'll become smarter because of it. You know what I'm saying? That's what my thing is. Learn something, teach something. Every day I learn something. And every, every day my subscribers learn something. And every day my subscribers teach me something. And that's just how it goes. So, and you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to do anything massive. It's all about little things. Raindrops. Raindrops. Every small thing counts. We need millions of black people to do millions of small things we don't need grandiose individuals trying to do these massive things that they can't handle all right we need millions of black people doing millions of small things that would have more effect than one person doing one thing what what's a museum what was a what was treat Nishi's museum what did that what did that do for society all that did was put more money in his pocket after he crowdfunded his own project pocketed most of it Gave a lackluster product, and he still makes money off it by the same fools that gave him the money the, the first, second, third time, right? What has anybody benefited from Umar Johnson, right? Umar Johnson, who says he saved thousands of people, yet we ain't heard one testimonial, right? As he collected people's money, pocketed, fly jet set around the world, running his mouth, regurgitating what other legendary revolutionary leaders say, while eating real good and showing off and taking advantage of single mothers that want to, you know save their boys you see what this is going to do this project right here is going to provide water for people who need it that shits on all their little projects even though both of them raise one point something million dollars and two and two point something two something million dollars all i needed to do was raise about six thousand dollars and i'm more effective doing my small thing than they are trying to do these big grandiose things stop trying to do big grand things do small things that you can handle and do a lot of them as you can and take your time and don't try to rush all right anyway that's all i gotta say it's afro think tank learn some teach them i'm out free sudan boycott diamonds and gold free sudan boycott diamonds and gold we most definitely cannot forget about the people of sudan wait 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 wait, wait. before you go for all my subscribers and philanthropists out there i'm building a solar power community water bowl system in Nigeria. It's going to cost between five and six thousand dollars. I'm trying to raise money. If you want to participate and help me build this solar power water system, please donate to the Cash App and put solar water in the notes. Solar water in the notes. I'll put PayPal, Stripe, and Zelle. Anyway, thank you. That's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn some teach them. I'm out. Thanks for watching Afro Think Tank. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow me on Substack and Patreon for more content. Remember, it's Pan-Africanism or nothing.